Good afternoon. <laughs> Girls, there a different feeling this week, it being first SEC game, and just maybe guys getting a little more excited this being conference play? Uh, yes and no. I feel like we're definitely excited that it, it is our first SEC game, so we know it, it kind of carries a little different weight to it, but in a sense, we still want to take it as just another game, another game on our schedule to first, and try to be 1-0 this week. How have you seen the young guys in that room? Um, obviously, two games in now, a couple games under their belt. How have you seen them grow? You talking about as far as those inside linebackers? <laughs> They're definitely uh, get, starting to get comfortable and starting to kind of play fast and, you know what I'm saying, just more so play like, not play robot like robots, basically. So definitely getting comfortable and making calls and being able to just play, play freely. Not be afraid to make a mistake. Cause mm -hmm. Type thing. Yeah, because they know, they know we got, they got guys beside them that are, you know what I'm saying, try to guide them through it. And, and we know what we're doing too, so as long as they just get us the call, everything will go as planned. <coughs> that confidence factor, we've seen you in practice a lot of times get those younger guys, pull them aside, talk to them. Is there a lot of in-game, in-between series maybe, coaching from your part, of watch the watch for, who to look for in certain calls? You're saying as far as the... With the young guys, as far as helping the other guys notice things maybe that you think they maybe you overlooked. Oh, I mean, somewhat, yeah. I mean, we just kind of, because I know they're they they're real eager just to kind of know what they should be looking for, what they should be keying and stuff like that. So finding little things to make them look at the overall field and scan the field as far as, okay, maybe two is on the ball, two is off the ball, stuff like that. So they can know what plays are coming and stuff like that so they can play even faster. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? South Carolina in 2010 North Carolina. Mm. It's the last time they played each other. Did yeah, you know? they they talked about it. It's been brought up before. Who did? Um, a couple of people in the organization. I don't really remember specifically, but I don't remember that game. I was like sure, sure. 11 years old. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, you, when you talk, when you know that they're going to have a freshman quarterback start as a defensive player, do you just want to pin your ears back because you know they're going to have their moments? But how do you guys face it as people? Um, I mean, we play it as if it's any other quarterback. I wouldn't say pin our ears back in a sense because I wouldn't even think that they would kind of want to just say, okay, freshman quarterback, we're going to throw the ball, throw the ball. So you can't really truly pin your ears back in a sense. You got to stop the run first and then make them have to pass the ball. So we, we definitely are eager just to at least play a freshman quarterback in a sense because he hasn't seen us and, he, you know what I'm saying, he's just now starting to play. But... It's another quarterback. Jamar, can you talk about Coach Salson Surrey and his energy out on that practice field and maybe how that relates to you guys? Uh, Coach Sal is a very energizing guy, especially for a guy his age. He, uh, he definitely keeps the energy going and, you know what I'm saying, keeps it exciting. But you also know that he's real serious as far as when teaching us and stuff like that, trying to make sure we learn and grasp everything that he's trying to teach us. So. He just keeps everything fun and entertaining, but also you know that, you know what I'm saying, when he d is telling you something and teaching you something, it, it goes a long way because you know he's coached great guys. 